could be dressed in a paper bag and you could dress properly, my friend. She's rocking the red. She's got the oh. perfect hair. You got the maple leaf. Can't get along. Very patriotic. It needs no introduction these days. <laughs> Isn't it interesting how uh, you just ride that wave? You can, at some points, walk around with complete anonymity, and right now you are, yeah. and all of your teammates. We're all watching with Aww, heart stopping pride. You. How does it feel? It's amazing. I mean, now we walk through the streets and everybody knows who we are, and they're just, people are just yelling, like, go Canada! It's incredible. I think this is what we've dreamed of being at home in a World Cup and Canadians getting behind us and just being so excited. And you can see in the last game, the fans were great and they were loud and they really helped us. We were looking at some of the clips of the celebration in the streets and then obviously seeing what happened uh, against Switzerland. What did they tell you to prepare for a moment like this? Because obviously, physically, you guys are ready. Herdman's, you know, been there as your coach, but the hoopla behind it, did you expect it to be this big? You know, you can't really prepare for something like this. We've done a lot of mental training, but it's the moment where you get out and the fans, that energy, that's something you actually hope for, but when you feel it, it's completely different. And we've done a lot of mental training with Alex, our trainer, and Penny, but... Day. I mean, we're all captivated by it, and uh, just tense and cheering, <laughs> and then your face, victory, like you running onto the field to just tackle your teammates, like, how is, how do you get through a game? Where, where does your head go? You know, it's the same thing we tell ourselves on the field. It's like, you have to focus on the next task, right. and you just have to start to continue to believe we're going to do it, we're going to do it, like Sinky's clutch PK against China. You know, it's like one of those things where you're like, Wee! And then when it happens, I don't, I don't even know where I go. I think I usually do a, run, a circle run and then sprint to teammate. But, and then our teammates have always come over, and it's just one of those things where that moment, it's hard to describe, but it's like goosebumps, chills, excitement. It's everything you've ever worked for, and it's worth it because of that one moment. And when you talk about moments, <laughs> it's worth it. Proud Canadians, you were with you. Hard. I love you guys. Hard. Let's talk about Coach Coach John Herdman, yeah. who, who's been clearly a catalyst for this team. What has been your favorite moment with Coach Herdman in oh. this particular tournament that stands out as leadership? And this is how he rallies. John is just a phenomenal leader. From his um, his, his speeches to the way we're prepared, he takes us through everything. It's like no stone will be left unturned. In our meetings, we, we, we grow every single day. And if he, he says to us, if you are the player you are today, tomorrow, it's not good enough. And so we'll go and we'll grow, go in the grow room and just watch film. But I think it's just the person that he is. He, he's become so vulnerable with us and made, allowed us to know all of him. And it makes you want to play that much more for him because we want it for ourselves. We want it for Canadians. But more importantly, we want it for him as well. And he was telling a story, an impactful story, about that moment in a North Shore training facility, yeah. the picture on his wall, mm -hmm. that, that sort of do it for Christine yeah. vibe. He's unusually emotional mm -hmm. and openly so. Mm -hmm. That's a rare quality in a coach. I think that's the leadership that he, he wants us to understand and we want to follow him because we know who we, he is. He's vulnerable enough where he tells us stories where most people would be like, mm, I'm not going to go there. Mm -hmm. But I think the connection with our team, it's, it's, it's special and it's within the team. Like, we, like our teammates, we know where their strength comes from. We know their tapestry. We know their story. But we also know our entire coaching staff story and the medical staff and it's one of those things where we truly are a family and it's a cliche and people say that all the time but you really will go to war for the people around you and we have that connection and that's what we're talking about now we feel that with the fans like when we walk down the street and people are just come up and they're screaming some some men have come up crying like I've never seen that in my 18 years and they're like there's tears and they're like man you're making me so proud to be Canadian that takes playing to a whole different level you know that that makes it like when you're dead tired in the 89th minute why am I doing this and you have a million reasons why and that's what's special about playing a World Cup at home and you're pushing it on so many levels and using soccer for a good cause. Tell us about uh, how high fives are helping others around the world. Well UNICEF it's highfiveit.org and it's
team. And we're going to be high-fiving you for sure. You've decided that this is your swan song. What, yeah. a, what a way to go out. What, what a way. You what know? a way. Singing again. Remember last time? How are you, how are you feeling? <laughs> right. Um, you know, it was, it was a tough decision, and I kept going back and forth, and I found myself more emotional. And I sat down, had a couple long conversations with John, and he was just great. And it, it came down to that moment of where would I want to do my last wave with my jersey? And I think of BC Place. This is where it started for me. This is where I grew up. And to wave that last goodbye in front of my friends and family, people have been there the entire way in that Canadian jersey, in front of people who've inspired me for so many years, Canadians, my best friends next to me. I just couldn't think of a better way to say goodbye. When you do that final wave, will you come visit us here right after? I will. I'll we be wanna, looking for a job, so hey guys. That's right, what's next, right? <laughs> Call me. <laughs> oh, uh, Colorado <laughs> Sportsnet. Like, <laughs> Let's okay. do it. Katie, yeah. congratulations. Thank you so much, you run. guys. We're excited to watch.